In Unity, get key or get button are ways of receiving input from keys or joystick buttons via Unity's input class. The core differences between the two is that get key specifically names keys for you using key codes. For example, the space bar is represented by key code dot space. This works just fine for keyboard, but it's recommended that you use get button instead and specify your own controls. The input manager gives you the ability to name an input and specify a key or button for it, and can be accessed by choosing Edit, Project Settings, Input from the top menu. Then, when calling it, you can reference a name using a string. For example, Jump. This is a default input represented by the spacebar, but we could put in a different key or button code in order to change the input that represents Jump. Then, when calling this button, you can reference the name using the string jump. To find out what to write into your positive button, check the reference in the documentation or look at the table that accompanies this lesson. When using get key or get button, these inputs have three states that return a boolean, true or false. First is get key or get button. This will register true or false depending on whether the button is being pressed or not. So currently the key is not being pressed, so get button is returning false. When we first press the key, it then returns true on the first frame. Then as we progress through frames, holding down the button, get button down returns to false. Get button still equals true, so we can check if the button is being held. Then when we release the button, get button up shows true, but only again on the first frame. As we continue, all values return to false. So let's run through that again. When the button is not being touched, everything is false. When we first press the button, we can check for this using get button down, which will return true. Also get button will return true. After the first frame, get button down returns to false. So you can use this for tasks like firing a weapon once. Then as we continue to hold down, only get button will return true. Then when we release, get button up returns true for a single frame and then thereafter returns back to false. You should note that get key behaves exactly the same way, only that the code is written slightly differently. In order to check for a button, we use the string of the title that was placed in the input manager, jump, but when checking for a very specific key, we can use key codes. Because this only pertains to the exact key, it's recommended that you use get button and specify the inputs using the input manager, as shown earlier.